Hi, this is Jessica. I wanted to look at some ways to increase text size and zoom in while working on, in Safari on a Mac. And one thing we want to look at is the use of keyboard commands, which can make us so much more efficient. So the keyboard commands, which you use commonly for things like control C to copy text, um, we can use these modifier keys. On the smaller Mac keyboard that doesn't have the number pad, there's four, there's like a little four pack down here in the bottom left, and those keys are function, control, option, command. It'd be great just to memorize those, get them on your fingers so you can go to any combination um, quickly without having to double check what key you're on. So let's say we're on a web page, and some web pages have this reader feature. And when you see you're on the URL bar up top here and there's horizontal lines to the left of the web page you're on, that's the reader mode which create, gives you a nice uncluttered page. So if I click that, I see that uncluttered page. Let's learn the keyboard commands. So the um, first thing that we can do is maximize our real estate. We have a a lot of empty space on our screen here. So let's go to full screen mode. The keyboard command for full screen mode that works on Safari is com control command F. Control command F. I'd suggest practicing that a few times. Get it under your fingers. Control command F. Okay. Um, we can also turn on reader feature. The or the put it in reader mode. And the keyboard command for that is Command Shift R. Command Shift R. Command Shift R. Okay. Now we have um, just the text. That looks great. You can use the Command Minus and Command Plus to zoom in. Okay. And now, once you're there, let's say. Uh, let me take a little break and just listen to this or listen and read along. Uh, so I have already gone into my settings and set up um, speak text. Let me turn this off a second and show you. I think I need to go out of command the full screen mode here. So I'm out of full screen. And in my settings, in accessibility. Let me, sorry. Go back to dictation and speech, and dictation, dictation and speech, text to speech, speak, selected text when key is pressed. I have that, um, that box checked, and the default option, is, um, key command is option escape, which I left. So now that that's turned on, let's go back to full screen mode. What is it? Command. Control F. Now I'm going to Reader Feature, Command Shift R. Now I want to read this. It's going to speak this text that I select. So let me select this with the keyboard command you probably know. Select All, which is Command A. Now to have it speak, Option Escape. Option Escape. Tech literacy, making it relevant through content learning, overview, embed technology. Great. And your speech settings can be adjusted um, in the, the settings. So excellent. Then I can scroll through this page with two fingers on the trackpad. I can also use function and the down arrow to move each chunk. If I use command and the up arrow, I'm going to go all the way back to the top. Or command and the down arrow takes me all the way to the bottom. Okay. So practice those keyboard commands because they are much more efficient than finding your mouse pointer and getting to some of the small targets that we would need to use if we weren't using keyboard commands. All right, enjoy.